Welcome back. Hey, let's bring on the bourbon. We got a fun event to talk about. We got Brad with Four Finger Distill here, and we've got Jody with the Indiana Historical, Indiana Historical Society, if I can talk right. Uh, guys, thanks for being here. This is awesome. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank sure. you. Thank you. Uh, explain what this partnership is and what you guys are doing. Yeah, so every year, except for the COVID years, the Indiana Historical Society has premiered the uh, Indianapolis's premier bourbon event, and we introduce our members and people in the community to all the fantastic bourbons that are around in our region. So we're doing it again this year. It'll take place next Friday, okay. um, July 28th from 7 to 10 p.m. You can buy your tickets online at indianahistory.org slash bourbon. Brad, how exciting is it for you guys to be a part of this? Because I know a lot of times when people think bourbon, they automatically go straight to Kentucky. But here in Indiana, we can make bourbon, too, and we do it really well. Oh, we do it really well. Um, we grow it really well. That is the corn, and then we turn it into bourbon, and uh, it's something that um, an event like this is super fun because we get to be, uh, you know, elbowing up against some of the Kentucky guys and show that we do it just as good yeah. or not better. So, It's cool, too, for you guys because everybody gets to come out and see the exhibits that you have going yep. on and, and enjoy some of this bourbon what's that like when people some of these people may have never even been there to see the exhibits they may just be coming specifically for the bourbon and they get in there and go hey, there's a lot of stuff here that's right well bourbon is of course a historic drink in yeah. and of itself so what better opportunity to enjoy a historic libation like this than at the historical society you can see our exhibits on eva core the holocaust survivor from Terre Haute, chuck taylor from down in nashville that everybody knows and see some amazing historical documents that um is one of the best collections in the world Brad, you're going to let us try something here. What are we going to try? Well, we'll probably try uh, the peated bourbon that I made. Okay. Um, it's made with uh, Indiana corn and Indiana peated malt. So okay. that's malt grown in Indiana. Peat that they harvest out of the ground in Fort Wayne, Indiana. They smoke the malt, and it creates just a light smoke. And then we barrel age it for a couple of years in new charred barrels. So, yeah, I can get on board with that. While you're pouring that, I'm going to ask Jody a couple other questions here. What is maybe one of the things people don't know or understand about the Indiana Historical Society? Because sometimes I think people can be intimidated by history, right? Like, sure. they're like, oh, I don't know anything. Why would I be interested? What should I go see? But you guys have all kinds of stuff. Oh, we're really accessible. So uh, the Indiana Historical Society is a private nonprofit. That means we're not associated or affiliated with the state. We're a private organization. Uh, a lot of our revenue is derived from our membership. And so we encourage people to come on and see our exhibits. We've got a library where you can have access to more than 8 million items that wow. span Indiana history. All you got to do is come on in, ask for it, and we'll bring it to you. All right, the, the bourbon has been poured. Oh my gosh, that smells awesome too. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to try it here. Oh, that is really good. Thanks. Nicely done. Thank you. We also have a special offer just for your viewers. Hey, how about that? We love special offers. Yes. Well, if they go to buy their tickets, indianahistory.org slash bourbon, and they put in the coupon code 50OFF, 50OFF, you can get $50 off a ticket. Guys, how about that? 50 bucks off a ticket if you do that little promo code. We'll have all the info on lifestylelive.tv so we can help you guys out. Thank you guys so much for coming Thank you. in. You Thanks for the bourbon. You bet. I and mean, how can you go wrong with bourbon, Amber? You can't. Uh, 50 bucks off. Yeah, That's how about that? Deal. That's a big discount there. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Good stuff.